You're late. Sorry, I had to take a bus. Freaking OCP robots destroyed my car during that program. Give me my money, you damn machine! Hey, this ADM won't give me my money! Can he do something about it? To the fountain? Waste of money, honey. Someone will steal it before you make a wish. Go back to your room, sweetheart. It's just someone on the staircase.
OCP is ordering you to break into the apartment of a reporter they don't like? Any comment before I write a story on that? I am here to investigate domestic terrorism. OCP sent you to my safe house because they want to know what I have on them after the bank incident. I assume there is more if you cannot store everything here. I found a rental bill for a locker in a storage facility. Make up your mind. First you let me go at the bank, and now, when I'm actually starting to figure out what the OCP scam is all about, you show up and ruin this. Do you want to help OCP avoid liability? Show me your evidence, and I will make the culprits regret their deeds. So far, you're just making my road to the goal harder. It turns out I was right. That thing that OCP plans to do with charging residents of old Detroit with additional costs, it is a loophole. It will lead to the illegal expulsion of thousands of people if you help OCP silence me. Explain. Not so fast. I need to be able to trust you first. At the bank, you've proved that you are more than just a tool programmed to obey OCP, but now the stakes are higher. What is it that you expect? Since you're here, I fully expect someone from OCP to go and check my locker. I need to protect what's inside, but there's a meeting I need to keep an eye on. Too much depends on it. I will not be involved in the smuggling of contraband. There's nothing illegal about my request. I need only one box from there. The one with the inscription, Bakery on the Corner. The rest you can leave to OCP to pick up. I need to just spring clean my out-of-date documents anyway. Call me once you secure the box. We should vote Kuzak. The Mills guy's just another suit. He knows nothing about ordinary. Man, it's RoboCop. So what? We're just sitting here enjoying the moment. Nothing suspicious. Right, officer? Shouldn't we give the fellows the signal? We should just shut up and smile like the exemplar. Are you lost, officer? I can show you the exit if you want. Trouble with the lock. 
Uh, seems that I forgot the key, but, uh... You will tell your story at the station. Are you sure you have enough seats in your car to take us all? If you do not come quietly, I will not need any. This is all! Well, well, well. Looks like Mr. Becker was right. You're up to something behind his back. These things are supposed to go to Mr. Becker, I reckon. What will interest Becker is in locker number 17. The contents of this box are none of OCP's concern. I'll have to tell Mr. Becker that you have not given us all the material. I assure you that it will end up worse for you than for me. you have my stuff. Did OCP arrive at the party? They tracked my location. Because they trust you so much. Speaking of which, 
the box. What if I lied about it? Did you ever think of that? There may be a bomb inside, or the head of my sworn enemy. Do you want to know what's inside? No. The sound of your voice does not indicate that you are lying. Just don't depend on your lie detector when you talk to politicians. In the box are my personal belongings. Letters, memorabilia, things that actually matter to me. When you become too tough to hit directly, the scum will try to get to you through your loved ones. I understand. So we have even more in common. Once OCP takes care of my old documents, I'll have the space to deal with the Delta City issue and help the people of old Detroit. You've helped them already, though. Thank you. Ronnie's Grocery. Leave the box there. What do you mean, a dollar? It's twenty-three fifty. I have Samantha's belongings. Ah, uh, yes. I'm glad you're helping her. Without that girl, OCP would put us all on the street. Still might. They did a number on a lot of families, hers included. Samantha's mother took it worst. But that's not a story for me to tell. Anyway, uh, leave the box in the back, next to the cat food. She's supposed to pick up everything tomorrow. Smoking is dangerous, not to mention illegal. I don't give a shit about either. Then you must suffer the consequences. Eh, no one in this country values independent thinkers anymore. I'm sure I'm in the right place, but I can't see my FTO anywhere. Could I have his name, please? Over. Sure thing. It's Officer Rat. He should be in one of the dumpsters. That's the only place he belongs, if you catch my drift. Over and out. Right. Is some idiot confuse a courthouse with a bank again? No, I heard one of the accused decided to defend himself, but I think he took things too literally. They say we're in a record-breaking recession, but people are throwing away things that still work. I said no. This Just underwear me looks almost new. I bet you haven't written such a piece before. You are committing an act of vandalism. Yeah. Did the guy from the poster send you? Compliance with the law has no political affiliation. I have to issue a ticket. You are suppressing my right to express my opinion. I am a political martyr!
Littering is against the law. It's an act of revenge. I was loyal and she betrayed me. Trouble in a relationship is no excuse for littering. What? I mean my boss. She fired me after all these years, so I'm spreading confidential papers. Let everyone know the fraud her company is up to. I cannot allow the law to be broken. You are just like her. If Mills wins, we'll all be homeless. Entering the fountain is strictly prohibited. But I'm not even fully in, just my feet. You are free to go, but no one steps into the same fountain twice without a ticket. I think I got it. Officer Washington, I will be your field trainer for today, requesting readiness confirmation. Yeah, thanks for the offer, but maybe the others are right. I might not really be cut out for field work. If we live the way others want us to live, what kind of life would it be? Or rather, whose? You're right. I want to be my own man. Officer Washington reporting for field training. Good, you have your body armor on. Well done. What about the rest of your gear? Service pistol? Got it. Spare ammunition? Check. Duty light? Never part with it. Good job. Preparation is the most important. So is knowing your surroundings. Are you familiar with this area? Isn't this the part of the city where it gets really busy like all the time? Police! I think that answers my question. Set the radio to my channel and follow me. Roger that! An officer needs to be confident. Straight back, sturdy walk, together with a clear and unshaking voice. Officers! Thank God you're here. I really need your help. What happened is... When responding to a request for aid, the first thing is to introduce yourself to the potential victim. Watch and learn. I am Officer Murphy. How do you do, madam? Well, to tell you the truth... The second thing is to reassure the victim of their safety. Madam, you do not need to be afraid anymore. We are here to help you. Yes, but it's not about me. The third thing is... I'm quite familiar with the field training manual, so if you don't mind, I'll take over. Ma'am, could you please tell us what happened? It's my cat, Fortune. He's missing. Fortune is my biggest treasure. I can't lose him. Do you have any idea where he might be? 
The only place I can think of is the basement. I've also heard some ruckus coming from downstairs today, but the lights aren't working and my eyesight's not so good anymore. Is it okay for us to investigate the basement? Yes, it makes an excellent opportunity for low light training. Let us proceed downstairs. Good luck down there. The cat has that name for a reason. He really brings forth. Turn your flashlight on. So don't you on. come back without him. Right. Duty light can be advantageous, but it can also be a liability. Keeping it close to you creates a clear target for the violators. It is good practice to hold the duty light away from your body. I don't remember reading that in the field manual. Did you get it from a different book? No, from experience. Clear. Clear. Hey, I think I just saw the cat. You think I should try to remove these planks? Go ahead. Wow! I didn't know I had so much strength in me. You will never know until you try. What was that? Ah, oh, man, I walked into a mess. And now my shoes are covered in strawberry jam. When chasing a suspect, do not rush head first. Take blind corners as wide as possible. Cuts down on being surprised. The fugitive has left the trail. This time, pace yourself. Do not get out of breath during a foot pursuit. You will need stamina to engage the fugitive later. Oh, looks like he stopped by the spill paint can. Suspect might be intoxicated. I used to know these kids who gave their cat stomach medicine to make it loopy. Is there a moral to that story? Cats are susceptible to substance misuse. Shh! I heard something. I think it's coming from the piano. That cat must be hiding inside. Let me lure it out. Go ahead. There it is! It's escaping! Darn it! It went through here, but that's a very narrow passage. Let's try the door. It's locked, but I can try to squeeze through that gap. Go ahead. Okay, here I go. It's actually not as bad as I thought. Cool. Now let me get that door open for you. This time it's a one-way street, Mr. Cat. 
Where are you hiding? There he is. Oh gosh, Fortune. You look a mess. You think he's all right? The cat is fine. You can take it back to its owner. I will clean up any remaining mess. Okay, see you soon. Washington, do you read me? Loud and clear, what is your status? You got a problem. I'm on the second floor and have a visual on multiple armed suspects entering our location. Most of them are heading your way, but I can hear some coming up the stairs. Do not engage yet. Take your time and find the most advantageous location. <gasps> got it. Officer Washington? Sir. Keep cool. I am coming to have your back. Glad to hear that, sir. longer, sir. We're in, pig. Nowhere to hide now. Drop your guns. Fuck! He got me. Ah! What is your status? I'm hit. Remain calm. I am here. I need a breather. Officer Washington, your performance today was impressive. Thank you, sir. It means a lot coming from you. You will be fine. It is only a superficial wound. See? I told you that a cat brings blood. Isn't this just wonderful?
Hey, you. The old man is waiting for you upstairs. This entrance to the building is off limits. Do you think it's going to hold his weight? Does it matter? Just don't jump. what they say. We do have some kind of defect. Oh, it's good to see you, my boy. Leave us. I want to talk to him in private. You have to excuse me for not getting up. I'm in a rather unfortunate state. You did exceptional work at the bank. I want you to know that I am deeply grateful for your service to OCP and the city of Detroit. See, I grew up in this very apartment, or what's left of it. It used to be a thriving neighborhood, nothing like what you see right now. I always dreamt of turning it into the most prosperous district in the city, a new heart of Detroit. Can you imagine? Or do you think it's just an old fool's pipe dream? I agree with all city improvement plans that have the citizens' well-being in mind. Glad to know you approve. Delta City's construction is about to start. Finally, the old and frail will be replaced with the new and strong. Decay and death are terrible things. You lose everything you worked for your entire life. But I don't have to tell you what that's like. It really makes me wonder, has the time you spent in that armor been a burden to you? The only burden it causes is to criminal scum. I admire your confidence. The real reason I've summoned you here is because I'm worried. I'm aware of your instability problems, and it's not a matter that we can overlook. That's why I've requested to have people look after you. Tell me, how are you finding your evaluations with Dr. Blanche? I am happy to comply with any activity that improves effectiveness. You're a good sport. I can imagine it's not a pleasant experience, but I can't express how much I'd like you to keep at it. I'm sure that becoming a liability is the last thing you'd want. Am I right? That is correct. Now we've reached an understanding. Tell me. Is there anything I could do to put your mind at ease? My fellow officers worry about OCP's intention regarding their work. Really? I'll have a word with Becker. Perhaps some new equipment would boost their morale. It would be appreciated. I have to say, you brought a lot of hope into this old man's heart. Now, excuse me. I'm not supposed to exert myself too much. <laughs> Doctor's orders. And you can't argue with them. Take care of yourself. After all, the peace of Detroit depends on your well-being. Hey, 
Murphy, are you done with the old man's tea party? Remember to get back in touch with your informer. See if he has any info that could get us back on the biker's lead. Spike is still out there. OCP wants to raise towers of glass and steel. Go ahead. Just not where we live. Greetings. Waiting for the movie screening? Just browsing to find which movie would most enhance my nuke experience. The longer you stick to a path, the harder it gets to abandon it. Amen to that. Now, nah, tell me, what's the next job for the police's finest duo? I need information on Spike's whereabouts. That SOB. I'll never forgive him for what he did to Briggs. Luckily, there ain't much left of the street vultures after the bank heist. They're probably laying low. But now you mention it, I heard about a biker who had a crash near the riverbank just behind the mart. So, your best bet is to check out the scene of the accident, or maybe hit up a nearby mechanic to see if they know anything. Are you positive that he escaped on the damaged motorcycle? <laughs> Not so much on it as with it. From what I gathered, the bike suffered more than just a dent. I'm guessing he must have dragged it to some nearby mechanic to get it back in shape. I think Ben's shop is the closest. Any witnesses? Uh, there's this crazy old bum who hangs out around there. He's nosy. Maybe he could help. You really want justice for Briggs? We owe him. But it's more about Daniel and Gale. And I think everyone will sleep better once those butchers are taken care of. Thank you. You have given me all I need. I, I know you're busy, but there's something that I need your help with. I will not be involved in any illegal activity. <laughs> That's very presumptuous of you. I just need help finding a VHS tape in the rental place across the street. The title slipped my mind and I assume you've got like a database or something in your head that'll make looking for it a breeze. So what do you say? Will you help me look for it? If it helps you stay out of trouble, let us proceed. Yeah, it'll solve all my problems. Let's go! What are you looking for? So there's this movie about a guy with a gun, and there's this bad guy who wants something. I'm pretty sure the title has some biblical reference in it. You lack vital information on the subject. I don't care if OCP lost some money for once. Okay, let's start searching. Remember, the title has something to do with the Bible. Saints, uh, cosmos. Let's start by checking the thriller and drama sections. Should we ask the owner? <laughs> Forget him. He has no idea about movies. He thinks that Salamanca deserved the golden piston for the best picture. I heard that. And it did.
Excuse me, we are conducting an investigation. You can investigate the case of several tapes being overdue. Your main suspect is your friend over there. Did he call us friends? Nice. Garden of Earthly Delights. Oh man, great movie. Very elegant. And by the critics, though. But the director is a badass. He personally showed up to one of those ceremonies to accept the award for the worst movie of the year. We do not need to bow to outside pressure. Easier said than done, my man. It takes courage to not give in to the pressure. If that director can resist it, then why the hell can't I, right? But let's get back to it, because that's not our take. Kind Shepherd? Love that one. You know that movie could have never happened. The director threw out the script after reading a couple of pages. Thankfully, his wife picked it out of the trash, and after reading it, she forced her husband to give it another look. Everyone deserves a second chance. Do we? I'm not so sure about that. There is nothing that you cannot come back from. Spoken like a true good shepherd. Anyway, I don't want to spoil the mood, but that's not the tape we're looking for. Nothing in thriller or drama. Okay, how about you check in the sci-fi and action section? I'll have a look at horror. Celestial Decay. Classic. Still waiting for a sequel. But the guy who did that one has never made a part two in his career. But he said that if he ever did, he'd do a sequel to that one. Uh, how do you feel about that? Sequels, remakes, comic book adaptations, etc. They tend to become imitations of themselves. Hard to argue with that. There's been a lot of stinkers. Anyway, risking to sound like a broken record, that's not the tape we're looking for. Eve's flower. Beautiful depiction of violence in that one. Do you think violence can be beautiful? It's just shown with a different sensibility to what we're used to. Maybe because the guy's European. You know how they are. It's different. It's cool is all I'm saying. Recognizing beauty in something ugly is a unique feature. <sighs> Doesn't pay the bills though. Then again, I don't have bills to pay anyway. You know movies, there is value in that. Yep, there's nothing better than a good movie. But, we're still missing our tape. Hey, I think I found it. I messed up the title a little. It's called Me, Sire, but here it is. <sighs> Isn't that the tape we're looking for? Uh, tape? What? What tape? You like movies? 
do you want to shoot an action movie? I, I think I'll wait till it comes out on VHS. Lights, camera, action! I need a hand over here! Do you need assistance? First, I hear a bunch of movie puns, and then everyone starts shooting. It all happens so fast. Where is Pickles? He ran out the back door. Where will I find him? I don't know. But uh, homeless or not, you still have to give an address to get a membership card. Try the computer. Maybe you'll find something there. for all this. Talk. Ah, uh, I overheard some torchhead saying that they were running away from the cops and went through that video store. They had a wad of drug money on them and didn't want the cops taking it, so they hid it in one of the VHS cases. I misheard the title, so I needed help. You need much more help than that. We all got problems. I, I fucked up, I know. And I get that you're on a mission to save my life or something. With all that great advice of yours, it takes courage. Sorry to disappoint you, Dad. But I'm lacking in that department. There's just one thing that I need right now. Which is? All I need right now is a fix. So, let me keep the money. You won't hear me asking about anything else. Are you asking a police officer to leave you with money from Nuke Distribution? I know you're a police officer first, but can't you be a friend this one fucking time? I am not doing this as a police officer. I am doing it as a friend. Hand over the case. You, you can't do this to me, man. I just did. Fuck you, Tin Man. I earned that money fair and square.
Greetings, citizen. Robocop, good to see you. All my books are up to date. You are welcome to conduct the audit. I am here in regards to a fugitive. Oh, damn. What is wrong with this thing? I need to get that car down, or God knows what might happen. Can you help me out with this? It's new and I don't know where I put the manual. Stand back. Go on then. Let's see how it's done. I thought you knew how to bring that car down. Can't be that hard. It doesn't start. Pop the hood. So, do you know what the problem is? The coil has been disconnected. That... Spark plugs are not the main culprit. There is no power. Battery is fine, stable, above 12 volts. That's one thing checked off then.